as we go into the future with implant dentistry, we're dealing with patients that are living longer, they're older, they um, bring more pathologies to your office, and they bring a bag of medicines with them. You know, and I'm not just talking about one drug or two drugs, but they've got several prescriptions. Some people are taking six, eight, ten prescriptions. And the thing that we have to know about drugs is that they affect us in many different ways. I mean, there's the intended application of the drug. It's supposed to land on a receptor, and that receptor is supposed to do something. But it gets a little more confusing than that. There's over 15,000 FDA-approved drugs that are available for patients to take. There's hundreds of herbal and dietary supplements which aren't innocent. They have an effect on our body. And that all leads to a growing number of drug interactions and actions. Sometimes those actions are the things that we intend for it to do, and many times there are adverse reactions. The foods that people eat make a difference, and that develops problems for us. The increased age of the patient, increased disease, increased drugs, giving us polypharmacy, Patients as they age, they have decreased cardiac output, decreased blood flow, decreased drug to liver and the kidney, decreased prehepatic and hepatic metabolism, decreased renal activity, increased receptor sensitivity in the central nervous system, a decrease in the homostatic mechanisms that the body provides. That gives us complexity and that gives us chaos. It's not simple anymore. Drugs do not work in a vacuum. You know, I know when we were in dental school, when they taught us our pharmacology, they said, you know, look, you've got a drug, and it's going to land on a receptor. And because it lands on a receptor, there's going to be a certain pharmacodynamic response that's going to occur. But the receptors are not just expressed on one cell type. There are many different cells. And it's not just one neuron and one receptor. You know, I remember seeing the pictures in the books where you had that presynaptic neuron, the synapse, the postsynaptic, presynaptic drops the norepinephrine or whatever it is, and then bingo, it lands on a postsynaptic one. It's not one to one. At that synapse, you might have 10, 15, 100, 200 neurons coming together. And when you activate one, it activates others. So it's just much more complex than what we were taught or what we think.